Can you have a boyfriend in Iran? Ale wiecie co, manekiny tutaj mają jakieś wyjątkowo po prostu wystające pupy, ale to tak porządnie i to każdy po prostu jeden. Mam jeszcze jeden manekin z taką pupą, no wszystkie po prostu generalnie są takie same, to dziwne. Musimy znaleźć bardziej funkcjonalną część tego bazaru, bo trzeba ogarnąć zakupy. Obiecaliśmy, że dzisiaj ugotujemy coś polskiego, więc chcemy zrobić placki ziemniaczane, które zawsze są hitem wszędzie, gdzie nie jeździmy e, i zrobimy też gulasz, bo oni jednak są bardzo mięsożerni, więc zrobimy do tego gulasz wołowy. O, zaczynają się ten, widzisz? Bo już mamy przyprawy, ale pachnie jeny jaki zapach. Nie zrobione. Mm. Przyprawy tak. Super. Lachestan. Warszawa. Ja chyba kiedyś muszę otworzyć restaurację, słuchajcie, zobaczcie moja linia produkcyjna. Zawsze na dwie padelnie, jak tylko mogę. Gulasz, zaraz tutaj będę zagęszczać, no gotuje się mocno, to nie widać. Ale, mm, ale będzie wyżerka. Tak, ale wiesz co, ja nie chciałam za dużo, bo nie wiedziałam. Tak wygląda. Nie wiadomo, co najpierw, czy jeść, czy fotografować. Tak, trzeba wrzucić na Instagram i wszystko to ważniejsze nawet, niż zjeść. Jak będziecie się kiedyś wybierać, to pamiętajcie, że tu są duże spadki temperatur. Jak świeci słońce, jest gorąco, jak zachodzi i robi się bardzo szybko zimno.
jesteśmy, organizują darmowe wycieczki po mieście. Tak więc jak nie skorzystać? Mam takie piękne dziewczyny. Hello, Dziewczyna... What do you say, Cześć. 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 And I have another one, oh, mam, która jest yeah, trochę yeah. nieśmiała. Hi. It's me now. I one opowiedzą mi troszeczkę o mieście. Uh, this is square. Uh, it was for uh, polo, polo game. Yeah. You know? Pol uh, oh, yeah. for polo? Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's so big. Yeah. And there are polo gates. These two teams. Uh -huh. And I'm sorry to say that it was a um, symbol of power of the man as well. You know? It shows the symbol of power of my man. man. In Safavi uh, dynasty, they show the power like this. For example, um, as you see, all the mosques, like the shape is like this. Welcome to the mosque. Oh. Okay, and the palace, as you see in this part, um, the shape is like this. It means, please keep your distance with the palace. Because it's the, for the government and the king and such a things, it means that you, you have to keep your distance. This uh, mosque has a uh, minaret. For saying the praying and such a thing, I, I, I'll explain you from inside as well. And this mosque, they call it female mosque or Sheikh Lutfullah mosque. It has a really, really beautiful ceiling uh, it, without minarets. And we have the main bazaar uh, in that side. Okay? Uh, please come here. I just want to show you something in this side. Uh, in this mask, lots of things are not uh, uh, are not at the same. Uh, are, for example, we have the vase here. Vase is symbol of welcome. It has design at the top. Please come here. You see the design at the top of this vase. But the other one is without design. Because Ali Akbar, who made this uh, place, uh, he was on. Uh, he wanted to say, "I'm not like a god that can make everything equal: two eyes, two ears, two hands." And uh, there, there is just God, uh, which is uh, perfect, not me. workshop that we are going it's registered in UNESCO they have a stamp from UNESCO and the, all the color is natural color for example the blue is come from uh, turquoise the green is come, uh, come from walnut the black is come from walnut uh, we will go and, and we'll check it out. And people use such a things for picnic uh -huh. for table this workshop they send to a lo uh, lots of uh, other cities as well. Mm -hmm. It's not for really spotting. I think we need to wait because the man is praying. Salam. Hello. Welcome. Salam. The owner is coming. This outfit is hand-printed table. Material that we use is cotton, 100% cotton. First we cut the material in different sizes. Then we wash it to become short, to shrink, to become real size. Then they bring here, we start to make it. First he make main stamps, black color. Because main stamps has got all the line and all the detail that we need. After main stamps we use second one. Second stamp is so important for us. Because he should put it that one exactly in the right place. Look at it. If he put it orange color in this case a bit left or right, all of this is broken. 
After finishing the color, we need to fix it for washing. That's so important for us. How we should cook the color. We have very big plates. Water, water inside of that one comes boiling. We put all of our cloths on the top. A steam of hot water comes up and color will be cooked. For this reason, it becomes fixed color. But this technique that I told you, it is only for vegetable color. For example, black is a skin of walnut. Blue is indigo, red is a skin of pomegranate, and yellow is from turmeric. Because of this season also we have certificate from UNESCO that they gave us and we put it behind of our work. It said to the people these are washable. Now. These are good for table, for bed, for put on the sofa, for covering the carpet. The pattern also that we use is from our monument. For example, that is a pattern of the ties under the dome of Sheikh Lutfur. Or for example, the pattern of the walls of Forty Country Palace. <coughs> So how long does it take? For example, like this one is two weeks. Two weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks. Zrobić jedną szmatkę. Wow. Taki obrus makata, jakkolwiek to nazwał, słuchajcie, kosztuje zaledwie 30 euro, a zajmuje aż dwa tygodnie, żeby zrobić. Po prostu przyjeżdżajcie do Iranu i kupujcie. Wspierajmy lokalny biznes. Naprawdę bardzo utalentowani, pracowici ludzie. And we have three type of uh, saffron and saffron of Iran is really good for example Chinese people they come here and they do business and sending to China really yes and they sell it like 10 or 20 times more than here and you can even buy saffron ice cream yes oh <laughs> I have to try yeah you have to Na takim walking tours to też możecie spróbować lokalnych przysmaków, które być może sami byście nie zamówili, a tak to ci wytłumaczą po prostu co i jak, co warto spróbować. They made up uh, rice flour, milk Aha. and rose water and sugar. Okay, yeah. so it's like rice pudding. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's rice a desert. pudding, huh? Okay, thank you. No, dobra, to będziemy teraz próbować. No, dobre. Ale to dobre jest. You like it? No. Really? Uh huh. Okay. Dobre, koniecznie to trzeba jeść. Koniecznie, bardzo dobre. In Iran we have a kind of doctor which is like traditional doctor. They ask, they check your body which is cold or warm. For example, they check if your um, body is cold, you have to use such a hair balls. Or if it's warm, you need another hair balls. I show you one of them. That Iranian, they really believe in this um, science and it works for mm -hmm. us. Medicine, so yeah, yeah. natural for medicine. For example, he's one of the doctors. That's Iranian <laughs> traditional. Salam alaikum. Later we are going to vegetable part. Mm -hmm. yeah.
for local. This person is more for local. Yeah, we've noticed that. Actually, yeah. we were uh, talking yesterday that it doesn't look like a bazaar for tourists. No, this, it's just this like... part is not touristy. Yeah. Because tourists, they are going from the main part. Uh -huh. This is for locals. lion that made uh, in this kind of art mm -hmm. you know, with these materials and uh, the uh, yeah. material is then for them for me so the structure is unique oh, and it's, the first one. Mm. it's made of metal yeah. metal yeah. And, and, oh there's gold and it's not if you want to To słuchajcie, jest pojemniczek na eyeliner. Na eyeliner, basically. This is eyeliner, like traditional eyeliner. Hmm? Okay, <laughs> okay, we came back with Bella. <laughs> yeah. Bella, stop it. No. Mm -hmm. You need to answer questions now, Bella. Hi. <laughs> it's <No>. Mina. <laughs> okay. So, where are you from? Manipur. Iran, as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, and I'm 26 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm a receptionist here in Sar Hostel. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Do you like your job? Yeah, I do. Why? This one, like, because I'm communicating with different people and I learn, like, I can learn everything, experience everything by myself. So it's real nice to meet different people, especially the ones that are traveling. They know they, are, they have really good experiences to share. Yeah, mm -hmm. like you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I'm sure there is something you don't like about your job. About my job, mm. yeah, for sure. Like maybe the money could be better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I'm uh, like I, I, I'm, I'm not really good at team working, so I prefer uh, to do a job that is my for myself, my own business. As I told you, I want to become a YouTuber, so. Uh, those kind of jobs are really better for me and it's really hard to work for someone else for someone like me but at the end I like it better than nothing mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. well it's difficult to believe that you're difficult to work with to be honest but okay <laughs> I trust you <laughs> okay. okay I was talking with few people and mm -hmm. everyone I mean all the young people tell me they all want to leave Iran yeah. How about you? Not me. Why not? Yeah. I know they're, they're like our society is totally sick. I mm -hmm. know that. And uh, we don't get good money from jobs and like poverty and everything. If I want to become independent, it's really hard. Uh, but I like it here. Like I, I get bored really easily. 
and a society like this in the country like this makes me like excited it's challenging i like the challenges here they're not that good but i like the challenges better than being like bored <laughs> yeah can you have a boyfriend in iran yeah for sure you can even live with your boyfriend and everything it depends on your own self like you um I don't know, you care about what people are saying about you or not. Like no one comes to your door and say, who are you living with? A boyfriend? Oh my God, you shouldn't, no. But like you, maybe you, you get some problems with friends, family, they can tell you, no, it's not good or something. But yeah, you're free. But not living with each other, just having a boyfriend? Yeah, for sure. It's real normal here, yeah. <laughs> so, if you could do anything anything in the world what would you do like as a job whatever you could be anybody or you could do anything what would you like to do um, or who would you like to be uh, like as a person i really like to be becoming like a pro gamer yeah and streamer and um, but for something that i really want to do i like traveling like mm -hmm. you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like at the first day, I was like, dude, these guys are living the best life I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, traveling and experiencing and meeting new people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I need to say we are living the dream. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is living the dream. And especially in the situation that we are, that we um, don't need to stop and we mm -hmm. have no strings and so on. So this is really very really helpful. Mm. Streaming, this is very interesting. I have never met a girl gamer. <laughs> yeah, I play Call of Duty Warzone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as well, boys and guns. <laughs> it's a little bit aggressive to a girl, but yeah, I'm good at it. <laughs> mm. I bet. I bet. <laughs> yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> if you decide to YouTube, oh, I think this is what you should be doing because I don't think there are many girls mm -hmm. uh, gamers. I would rather say there are many girls mm -hmm. gaming, but I guess not many YouTubers and girls. Mm -hmm. Especially in Iran. Oh, especially in Iran, yeah. so there is a niche. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can okay. start it too. Yeah, yeah. good luck. Yeah. Thank you. My fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was real nice, like this thing that you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's real nice. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I can't wait for the result. Yeah. <laughs> you need to wait very long. <laughs> but it's going to be that one day. Yeah, for sure. The main bus came after one week. Now tell me the truth, like real, real truth. For me, it's perfect. Just perfect. I told you. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> you go shine on the street. Well, actually, yes, it's true. One dollar each. <laughs> <laughs> Jeśli podoba Ci się seria z Iranu, możesz być zainteresowany książką Iran oczami kobiety, gdzie opisuje rzeczy, których nie udało się nagrać oraz moje spostrzeżenia. Książka zawiera też praktyczne porady, zarys historyczny i opis miejsc wartych odwiedzenia. Szczerze, że jeden z najdziwniejszych efektów akustycznych, jakie żeśmy gdziekolwiek słyszeli.